Deputy Bay in Umgeni Sandile, Nikita Imkati. How do I say that? Yeah, perfect. Oh, I did it right. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Sandile, we are here in KZN. Lots of 10,000 people surrounding us. How do you feel today? It's been electrifying. We're excited as KZN. I think you can see around you that people are truly excited for change. We know it's coming soon. People are sick and tired of the current administration. And you can just feel the mood here that there's a sense of excitement. And yeah, so I feel awesome. I think the event went, went off quite nicely. Um, and we're looking forward to it. Yeah, Sadile, the Umgeni municipality is the first municipality in KZN being run by the DA. And you guys are doing incredible work there. Can you tell us a little bit about the work you're doing? Sure. So in Umgeni municipality, we've decided that we're going to. Ah, look who's here! Yeah, great to be with Bones. Yeah. <laughs> what a great day, guys. Wonderful Quasilla Natal. It's a vibe, right? Yeah. Wow, and then artists. And hearing how inspirational is Chris Pappas. If that guy is not going to make the greatest premiere that Quasilla Natal has ever seen, I don't know who will. I couldn't agree more, John. Who was your favorite performer? Babes won't do my without a doubt. <laughs> Me too. I love it. I love it. And best seats in the house as well. Apparently you did. <laughs> We were just talking about the great work being done in Umgeni and I was just asking Sandile what is some of the work but I'll ask you quickly and then I'll go back to Sandile. I'm so proud of these guys. They've turned the municipality around that was bankrupt, that was not delivering services and for the first time in 30 years people in Umgeni are getting services. They've got a mayor and a deputy mayor and a team of people who work for the people not the politicians and life is getting better. Where the DA governs life gets better and I'm so proud of our Umgeni municipality. They're the new beachhead in KwaZulu-Natal. And I'm telling you, nothing what you see here today would have been possible if we hadn't had this beachhead in Umgeni, where Chris and Bones have done phenomenal work there. I couldn't be prouder as a leader of a team than I am of these guys in Umgeni. They are breaking the political sound barrier every single day. Absolutely, Sandile. Oh, I think you said it all. What more can I say now? <laughs> but yeah, John's quite correct. I mean, we decided to, we're fixing our roads, we make sure that the street lights work, the verges are cut, and we're getting people employed. So we investing in infrastructure, and we're investing in tourism and agriculture as well. So we're creating jobs. We understand that unemployment is a huge issue in South Africa. So we're trying to do our little bit in Umgeni. Sadile, before we let you go, can you give us your final message to all the viewers at home watching right now? I think our message has been, has been simple. From the beginning, we've said each one get one other person. Get to the polling uh, stations on the 29th of May and vote DA.